Okay, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com. You can view this tub or others like it. This is a very low-grade tub. Um, it does have a couple things I'm going to point out in this video. Um, it'll be priced accordingly. If you're looking for solid sheet metal, specifically the passenger side, pretty much from the back all the way to the front, actually the whole, the whole side, very clean, cows very clean. The chain comes out. I just have it up here for weight because it's balancing it right now. Firewall, super clean. No rust uh, anywhere here. Uh, back area, cargo area, nice and clean. This wheel well, nice and clean. Um, that wheel well, nice and clean. Uh, inside and out, I'll show you the bottom here. Say, I just washed it so there's a little water in it. Um, this is the back floorboards, uh, passenger side, clean. A little bit of surface here, but nothing cancerous uh, in the floor. Wire wheel or brush will take most of that off if, all, if not all of it uh, tunnel nice and clean inner firewall clean so that's the good um, I'll get you the bad here in just a second um, and then driver side floorboard nice and clean and again rear rear cargo driver cow clean firewall clean corners really clean so anything like this this is the the rockers uh, both sides are good um, roll bar um, good Okay, now here's the damage. So you got a corner that's bad, and that's pretty much bad. This can be pulled, um, and then you could put just the corner on if you, if you wanted to do that. Um, so I'll say it's a C, and I'll say it's a C because there's a, well, just because that's kind of what we rate them. I'll show you something here. So. Oops. So it's got two torque pockets, and they didn't break uh, bolt-wise. So they're still they still got good threads on them, um, and definitely usable. But I would definitely, uh, if nothing else, get them get them fixed because you're going to have future problems if you don't. And you might be already fighting this. So this is called a torque pocket, and it goes from the front, basically cowl area or uh, firewall area, all the way back here. Okay, so this one is perfect. And then you got this guy, these are where your frame goes uh, up through the bushings. Both centers on this side and the other side are starting, we, we, we call it collapsing. And essentially, um, it, it, who knows what causes it, it gets rust in them. So this is, the inner area is still salvageable. A lot of times what happens, is these break completely and they float and you can't get them, you can't even get the bolts out of them. And at that point, we just, we just toss the tub. If this tub wasn't as clean as it is on the top and most of the sides minus the corner, I wouldn't be selling it and it will be heavily discounted, but uh, nonetheless. So if you're wondering what's going on with your Jeep and just need some informational, this is probably what you might be experiencing. A lot of times they're collapsed on all of them. Um, dealing with one isn't as bad. And again, in the center is not as bad as you can just cut this chunk out and basically box it in with C-channel uh, steel and then and build that back up. It's actually... It, what well, the problem is when the whole then the entire thing is bad then it becomes you know hit or miss this whole tour pocket isn't very easy to replace however we do sell those and we don't sell them all that often because i have to cut a tub to do it but in the case that a tub has got damage on the top side and the bottoms are good so again this one's the same way you got good one here uh that one is not as bad as the other side actually this is fine here it's just this side that's gone uh, threads are good again nothing broke off and then your rear one here okay that's that's what makes this tub a C now your other points of is that guy which is great shape that guy which is great shape got the corner one here which is good and this corner one here which is good so uh, we'll do a C maybe a C plus but a C uh, you'll see this guy priced around 1200 and uh, plus shipping or you can come pick it up and there's the wheel wells. Those are nice and clean. The seams right along through here where they pinch weldies, uh, nice and clean. Those get oftentimes in Midwest, East Coast, those are done as well. So if you're fighting rust, it's probably more than this thing has on it. And this one might be a good option. Otherwise, if your budget's a little bit more, uh, that one's not as good. I, that's another one of my low grade for tubs. But I do have some pretty nice tubs right now. I think I have one grade A, several grade Bs, and then maybe two Cs. And I don't get Cs all that often because we typically stay out of the rust belt. This one came 
uh, actually out of Colorado, which we don't get a lot of rust here, but every once in a while, what usually happens is low maintenance will cause some of these issues. So, uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that up because I gotta, I gotta do photos. So, anyway, um, questions, comments, concerns, give me a holler, 303-666-9020. Again, that's Jeeps Unlimited. Uh, that's our parent company. Our website's partsbreakers.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's got everything on it. So if you need anything else, let us know. We got seven acres of Jeeps, mainly. Got a couple other things, but that's about it. All right, thanks a lot.